Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jake and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make an intro in RealFlow and Cinema 4D, more specifically the one that I use in my videos, which is this one. If you have not seen it, I'll play it for you real quick. Okay, so this uh, tutorial is going to be mostly focusing on the uh, 3D text part of it. It's not really going to be focusing on the color correction, camera movement, or the added 2D text at the end. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, you're going to need Cinema 4D and RealFlow. Otherwise, this method will not work. And to start off, we're going to go into Cinema 4D and grab some Mo text. And I'm going to change my text to Jake, make it nice and simple. I don't want too big of a text because uh, it'll be longer rendering and that's not fun. Change the depth, let's change it to 50. And I'll change the font because this font's ugly. Let's do something quick. Um, uh, sure, reboard, why not? And I'm going to rotate this negative 90 degrees and drag that up a bit. All right, that's probably good. And I'm going to change the spacing because these are really tight. Maybe like 22.5. Perfect. Okay. Now that we have our text, we're going to want to highlight our text and hit C. And then we're going to right click on it and go to unfold all. And now what we're going to want to do is grab this little part right here. And we're going to drag it out. And we can just delete this part up top. And we're going to grab these and hit C again and now you should have all these caps and what we're going to want to do is with them all selected we're going to right click again connect objects and delete and you should just have one object which is your text as one and now what we're going to want to do is go into our plugins and go to RealFlow, RealFlow SD Exporter and grab our object and hit add and for our SD file click on these three little dots and you're gonna want to put the uh, export location I'm going to just put it with I think where I put everything else it's just users my name and then scenes um I'll just put it here let's write Jake okay and we're going to want to hit ex highlight that and hit export. And now once that is done, you can just exit out of Cinema 4D or minimize it. Actually, just minimize it because we need to use it later. And go into RealFlow. And once you're in RealFlow, you're going to want to go into import, import object, and find your object, which is right here. And I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see, we have our text. If I can... Hang on, there we go. Uh, yeah, there is our text. And so what we're going to want to do now is go into up here in the menu and click on this. We're going to add volume and we are going to add gravity. And for volume, hit fit to scene. So we don't have like particles flying everywhere. It's just a big mess. And once you are done with that, uh, gravity obviously is for gravity, make it realistic. And once you're done with that, you're going to click on these three blue balls and, and click on the square emitter. And so for uh, square emitter, we are going to keep it at liquid resolution. Um, just to let you know, the higher resolution you put, the longer time your render is going to be, uh, but it, it looks a million times better if you put it at a higher resolution. I'm going to put it at 20. Uh, actually, I'm just going to do 10 for this tutorial, but if you're going to render it, um, make sure it's at 20 or so, because that's what I used, and it turned out nice. Density, keep it at 1,000. Uh, uh, keep all these settings. Interpolation, change this to local if it's on none. And max particles, change this to about... Let's do 80,000. Okay. And for speed, change this to 5. Okay. And 
Oh, for scale, change this to around 0.4. I'll leave this at one and change this to like 0.45. Then we're gonna have to make this smaller, maybe like 0.25 and 0.35, maybe 0.75. Yeah, that looks about good. And we are going to rotate it 45 degrees. So it's going to be pointing at the ground like that. All right, that looks good. Now what we're going to do is take our emitter and we are going to, actually I'm going to put that at zero just so it's easier to move. We're going to move this emitter down into our first letter, which is the J. Nope, I don't want to select that. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna move this about here. And we're gonna... You know, I have to make this a little smaller, change this to like 0.15 or 0.14 and 0.20. That should do it, and change the rotation back to 45. Uh, let's do negative 45. Yeah, all right, um, that's pretty good. And now we're gonna make this as close as we can to the ground or the bottom of our text for this instance. And that that's pretty good. Okay, now when we at the bottom, if we hit simulate, you can see we start having our particles being emitted and they are filling up our text, which looks pretty awesome. And I'm just gonna let this render as, ah, well, this is going pretty quick. Thumbs up for eight cores. I'll let it go till 90, then I can stop. Okay, so after 90, uh, this is what it looks like. See, it's filled up most of it. it hasn't filled up all of it. Um, I'm gonna stop this tutorial for a second. I'm gonna do the rest of them and have them render out. And I'm gonna come back when I'm done with that. So yeah, see you guys when I'm back. Okay guys, I'm back and the simulation has finished. So this is what it looks like after uh, 200 frames. It starts off like this and then it fills up like so to the top. Okay, and so yeah, that's pretty cool. And now that that's done, we can add our meshes. So what we're gonna wanna do now is click on this green blob thing and go to particle mesh standard and right click on it and go insert all emitters and that will insert all of our emitters that we had previously. And so in the um, section over here, polygon size, we're going to want to change that to 0.03. And on filters, we're going to change this from no to yes. Uh, keep relaxation at 0.1, but we're going to change tension to 0.1 also. And that is all of the settings we need to do for the mesh. And so what we can do now is click on here to start building our mesh and it will build a mesh for all of the uh, particles we have so I, this is a good stopping point for part one um part two i will go over importing this back in some 4d and finishing and stuff it should be pretty quick but i just don't want this to run too long so thank you guys for watching uh Stick around for part two. It should be out pretty soon. So yeah, see you then.